So he's applied, now he's waiting for a reply. Okay, Pradyut Kishore Dev Barman is the scion of the royal family of Tripura, chairperson of the Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance, a man who's seen the Congress at close quarters, someone who's seen Rahul Gandhi at close quarters, used to be part of uh, the core circle, then decided it wasn't worth it. And now you have this prospect of Shashi Tharoor potentially uh, jumping into the ring and saying, I'd like to be Congress president. Do you think it will happen? Does he have a chance? Or is this uh, bound to end up badly for Dr. Tharoor? No, I don't think it will end up badly for Dr. Tharoor. I think Dr. Tharoor is a very intelligent man. I heard Rajdeep say that, uh, what is his plan, plan B? I think the plan B for Shashi Tharoor was politics. His plan A was never politics. So I'm sure he has thought it out. And uh, to be very honest, I think it's also very symbolic. I think he's probably trying to position himself like a Rajesh Pilot would have if he had continued. Uh, and it's very unfortunate that Rajesh Pilot died. But if he had continued after uh, the 98 election, he would have been a very powerful uh, no, Congress Rajesh leader. Pilot came from the Hindi heartland, spoke Hindi as his key language. Shashi Tharoor, for all that's right with him, so comes from Kerala, doesn't identify. Powerful. And even, I, you know, remember, I, I've, yeah. But Congress party is more powerful now outside the Hindi heartland. Sure. And I think uh, the state where he comes from, Kerala is probably the last bastion in terms, if you see the last Lok Sabha election. And uh, if the Congress needs to make inroads, it needs to make inroads in the Northeast. It needs to make inroads in Orissa, in Bengal, where he has a connect with Bengal. So I think uh, Shashi Tharoor probably is thinking that uh, he would be more useful outside the Hindi heartland. In the Hindi heartland, I don't think anyone in the Congress is ready to take on a Narendra Modi. Not no, even Mr. Ashok Gello can take on Narendra Modi. Rajat, I've travelled with Shashi Tharoor in Thirunavanthapuram during Lok Sabha and Assembly elections. He's seen as a bit of an oddity or an outsider even within the Congress <laughs> poll, like the party karakartas. You know, they were indulging him and humoring him, saying we have to kind of make it happen because he's not seen as a hardcore party man, which he isn't. He's electable, uh, neither, neither he wins was, in a tough constituency, uh, he's won twice over. I think it's symbolic, uh, Rahul, yeah. we are taking too much into it. Finally, it will be decided uh, when there is a indication from the family who they would like to see as a president. But uh, his contesting would be more symbolic. And uh, I think uh, that's the way ahead. Because, Do you think he can uh, win, Pradyut? I, I, it's, it, it all depends on uh, who the indication comes from the family. Without the blessings of the family, I don't think uh, uh, it is possible for Mr. Tharoor to win.